VV Florid Eye Song was more than just a sci-fi dystopian anime, with plenty of lessons embedded within the overall story and the journey to find out what it means to put your heart into something, VV became an anime that will go down in history. From stunning CGI visuals, nail-biting action scenes, and a stellar soundtrack, VV Florid Eye Song will be an anime that transcends not only time, but hearts as well. There were no lack of fiery moments that kept viewers glued to the screen, always anticipating more with each passing minute. This anime incorporated elements of time travel and threaded the potential of a dystopian future into a weave of fantasy and science fiction. While the concepts of time travel and dystopian futures aren't new elements within the realm of traditional literature and media, the way Vivi carefully crafted a tale of courage and truly finding out who you are is different. Traditionally, the main character has primarily been human throughout most forms of media, with a few exceptions, of course. This holds true for the vast majority of anime. However, Vivi differs in this sense for the particular reason she is an AI, artificial intelligence, and her only goal is to make people happy with her singing. We would normally think of Vivi, or should I say Diva, as just an android or a highly intelligent robot, though the term robot lacks substance. At the same time, however, Vivi also retains character traits that make her just as much a human as those who reside in the stands to watch her perform. What makes AI different from humankind isn't that they are made of metal or have oil coursing through their systems instead of blood. It is that they do not possess personality and do not outwardly express phenotypic traits that are normally enacted and expressed by humans. They are not capable of performing the same duties as humans, nor do they yet have talents hobbies, or other interests that define what it means to be human. Yet, we find ourselves at an impasse when we become bored, tired, lazy, hungry, or thirsty desires of the flesh. We experience emotion and feelings that make us vulnerable. We overthink and sometimes don't think enough. So, are we not just like the AI when we have nothing to do? When there's nothing left to be achieved? What about when we have no emotion? Perhaps in 40 years, these questions and above analyses will become obsolete and fade into the background of history. Perhaps AI advancement will far surpass that of what has taken humanity millennia to achieve. Are we perhaps writing our own end this way? How many chances do we have before we can't correct the damage we've done? Let's look at it another way. All of these are themes found within VV Fluorite Eye Song. Humanity has advanced so far and AI have become so intelligent that they are vastly superior to humanity, even taking on the form of a traditional human. This is where we are introduced to the destruction and chaos that is a world left to run unchecked. Where AI advancement has come so far, the point of no return has long since passed. Brushing aside the need for humanity, it has been deemed that such life is no longer needed. However, there remain two AI who choose to deny such an outcome of humanity, Matsumoto and Diva, whom he calls Vivi. Life doesn't give us do-overs. We make a mistake, we learn from that mistake, and move forward. This time, that mistake has grown into an extreme that only accelerates the more time passes. Vivi, dragged into an exponential quest to save humanity from the brink of destruction, must first discover what it is she is fighting for and what it means to put her heart into something. So, what does it mean to put your heart into something? There is no right or wrong answer to such a question, but that begs another. If discovering what it means to put your heart into something challenges what you personally believe or believe to be true, does that not make reality an ever-changing of multiple fabric as well? Or does that make something of what we believe to be reality obsolete? Is Vivi's story more than just an anime and instead, perhaps, a warning? If you've seen the anime Beatless, the same premise applies here, but not on the same scale. Both anime consider the threat of AI advancement to humanity, but both take very different paths in weaving a story. Does humanity deserve to be saved, or are we creating our own Judgment Day? Let's analyze first what it means to be human. Passion, desire, greed, envy, happiness, sadness, self-doubt, but most of all, a heart. No, not the beating muscle inside your chest. The kind of heart that makes you, you. Think of it this way. Vivi is an AI who can speak like a human, move like a human, and think like a human. However, she has no physical heart. Yet, she can still be defined as human. How so? The overall theme of this anime is discovering what it means to put your heart into something. 
Something that Vivi struggled with for many, many years, but the day still came, she found her answer. Vivi put everything she had into the missions she was given, and in meeting so many different people, seeing so many different places, and meeting other AI with their own duties such as hers. Vivi grew to learn that being an AI and being human are intertwined and part of the same thread of fate. This is why Vivi is not only AI, but also human. It's this very thing that, on a thematic level, gives Vivi Fluorite Eyes Song a strong chance at anime of the year and, right now, anime of the decade. Eventually, Vivi came to appreciate everything that made her who she was, all thanks to a certain someone she met far, far in the future. Of course, had she known how things played out in the end, our story would have been dramatically different. But that's why this cosmic temporal maze was able to outshine other seasonals at the time, easily beating out the next closest competition, that being 86. The future can be a scary place. All it takes is for one thing to go awry before a domino effect of bad outcomes begins to mount one after the other until it comes to a point there is no going back. However, Vivi offers up one more, highly important, question that we should all be aware of and consider. If there is a future still left to hold, how far do we make it? Will we be warned and told of an impending catastrophic future in order to correct humanity's current path, or will we be left to the devices of the corrupted collective will, forced to march forward into an impending doom? There is certainly much to gleam from this anime and much to learn. But despite some questions and overall uncertain messages likely directed towards humanity, Vivi remains a highly enjoyable show with an incredible cast of characters and a design that will leave even the best animators shook. Vivi defies the typical 12 to 13 episode anime and pulls no punches when it comes to its impressive nature. From stellar close-ups and entire scenes animated in some of the best CGI seen in the industry, the only disservice this anime does is the fact that it's only 13 episodes. If you enjoyed the anime or the light novel, beat this, get up, and go give Vivi Fluoride Eyes Song a try and see for yourself some of the things I've discussed. This anime is only one of a handful that get better every time you watch it. While this anime is unlikely to receive a second season based upon the way it ended in the first season, there is still a lot to take away from this anime. Vivi Fluoride Eyes Song is worth every moment of undivided attention you give it. Just the first episode alone will draw you in. This anime is worth more than its weight in entertainment value. However, Vivi does an excellent job at one more thing. Vivi Fluoride Eyes Song brings home the reality that, based upon some of the things that I mentioned and talked about today from themes and various questions regarding humanity, may be a little bit closer to reality than we would like.